Holy shit, what's up? How do I sound? I'm on... I'm off push to talk because I need both hands to use a controller this time. Because we are playing... We're playing a, a console game today and for the next little while. What's up, everybody? Uh, I think it was... I want to say Bowser who was doing... Um... What's it called? Blood Omen? Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. Which is a game that kind of a lot of people missed out on. This is the sequel to that. It's um it's actually the first PlayStation game that I ever bought. Fun fact. Yeah, uh it's um uh, Blood Omen is kind of hard to recap in a short little bit um but the gist of it is so in blood omen legacy of kane there's this dude kane he gets killed he comes back as a vampire he gets drawn into this conspiracy and has to like murder the circle of nine who are these sorcerers who like guard you know the, the pillars that control nature and stuff in in the land of nosgoth and then at the very end turns out that kane is the last guardian so until he dies, the last pillar can't be cleansed. So then you have to make a choice. You can either, you, you can you can sacrifice yourself, purify the land, but you're the last vampire, so vampires are dead. Or you can reject your humanity, refuse the sacrifice, become a king of, like, rule over the world, basically, but the pillars collapse and the world is damned to destruction. Soul Reaver assumes that you chose the second option. Yeah, it's it starts off as a standard vampire game, it becomes so much more. So yeah, so Soul Reaver assumes that you chose the bad option, the bad ending, and uh, we will start... We start in the game about a thousand years after the first game, so here we go. Cain is deified. The clans tell tales of him. Few know the truth. He was mortal once, as were we all. However, his contempt for humanity drove him to create me and my brethren. I am Razael, firstborn of his lieutenants. I stood with Cain and my brethren at the dawn of the Empire. I have served him a millennium. That's Michael Bell, by the way. Over that time, we became less human and more divine. Cain would enter the state of change and emerge with a new gift. Some years after the Master, our evolution would follow. Until I had the honor of surpassing my lord. I earned a new kind of reward. the fate of traitors and weaklings to burn forever in the bowels of the lake of the dead cast him in <laughs> silent temple in there tumbling burning with white hot fire i plunged into the depths of the abyss Unspeakable pain, 
relentless agony. Time ceased to exist. Only this torture and a deepening hatred of the hypocrisy that damned me to this hell. An eternity passed, and my torment receded, bringing me back from the precipice of madness. The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. And that is the voice of Tony J. Yeah. Fucking okay, all-star voice cast. I know you, Raziel. You are worthy. What madness is this? What pitiful form is this that I have come to inhabit? Death would be a release next to this travesty. You did not survive the Abyss, Raziel. I have only spared you from total dissolution. I would choose oblivion over this existence. The choice is not yours. I am destroyed. You are reborn. The birth of one of Cain's abominations traps the essence of life. It is this soul that animates the corpse you lived in. And that, Raziel, is the demise of Nazgoth. There is no balance. The souls of the dead remain trapped. I cannot spin them in the wheel of fate. They cannot complete their destinies. Redeem yourself. Or if you prefer, avenge yourself. Settle your dispute with Cain. Destroy him and your brethren. Free their souls and let the wheel of fate churn again. Use your hatred to reave their souls. I can make it possible. Become my soul reaver. My angel of death. He said the thing. He said, he said the thing! He said the name of the game! Okay, uh, okay, so fucking, right, right, so this game came out in 1999, do you guys know what that means? It means when I'm doing this, I'm not using the right hand analog stick to do this, I'm using the shoulder buttons to do this, because camera controls hadn't been invented yet, it's tank controls, baby. Sort of. The D-pad's actually kind of directional. But yeah, it's basically tank controls. Title drop, yep. Yeah. this one. I also played this when it came out, Bully Snake. I don't know if you're here for it, but I said um, this was actually the first PlayStation game that I ever bought. Ever. Boy, was I floored in that opening cinematic. Holy shit. Like, imagine little 13-year-old me being like, like watching that. These gates twist Jaw space, gate. <laughs> laying a path across great spans. We were savage. Yeah, um, that's a long at Confessions of a Ladder. Okay, that's a great username. Confessions of a Ladder Maker. That's fucking great. Um, I, uh, I'm trying to think of a ladder pun that I could throw at you. But no, yeah, savages. Um, you, did any of you guys play the original Armored Core on PlayStation? Literally the same problem, except not only did you use the shoulder buttons for left and right, you also used the smaller shoulder buttons for up and down. It was fucking chaos. I don't know how I ever got anything done with that game. Good God. <laughs> you had an Xbox? I didn't really, it was on Dreamcast. I don't think it was on Xbox. I mean, evidently it was on Xbox. But yeah, so these, this is... Whenever you save the game, which I'll do now, uh, whenever you load a save, you don't load back in where you were before. You always come back into that room that you just started. You always come back in there, no matter where you were before. So these, 
these gates, these warp gates, this is your save points, basically. But they're all shaded red because we haven't unlocked any of them yet. So yeah, that's kind of a neat thing. Uh, you, you always come back in that room. <laughs> kind of a neat design choice. Centers the whole game on, on the underworld here. Also, listen to the music, listen to that. <laughs> you are weak. You must feed. The old hunger has left me. I have no desire for blood. Because you are of course, was a vampire. Your bloodthirst is replaced by a deeper need. You have become a devourer of souls. That's excellent sound design. To sustain your strength. You must hunt the lost spirits of the underworld and consume the souls of your enemies. All right, so plus side, no longer need to drink blood. Downside, now need to consume souls. Also, check this out. Look at it. He pulls the cowl off and his jaw is just kind of missing. Look at that. Look at that. It's fucking metal. <laughs> this game is incredibly fucking metal. <laughs> oh yeah, it's okay. Nope, oh, nope, that's not Crouch. What the fuck is Crouch? Okay, I don't have to do that yet. Uh. Okay, hold L1 and X to hide him. There we go. Oh, his jaw just extended like a cartoon. No, he's pulling the cowl off. He doesn't have a jaw. Your wings, though he's... ruined, are not without purpose. Take hold of them as you leap. And they will carry you across this chasm. His, his jaw burned off in the abyss. Because, of course, in vampire lore, vampires can't cross running water. So in, in Nazgothic vampire lore, what that means is that, that water burns a vampire like acid. So he was effectively thrown into a lake of acid. Whee! The vampiric weaknesses are a big thing in Blood Omen, you have to really play around them. Like, sunlight drains your health, uh, you can't swim, so water just kills you. Rain drains what your health. What scabrous wretches are these? Sua, the scavengers of the underworld. Their feral hunger has claimed countless souls, spirits who now shall never find their rest. Alright, combat is the weakest part of this game. Let's get over with. But, unluckily for these guys, I have played Dark Souls in between when I first bought this game and now. So my god game is excellent. Come back here. Come back here. Fuck. Come back here. Come back. Fuck. God damn it. Okay, fine. I'll just eat the one. There he is. Yeah, there's no auto camera either, it just kind of does this. Uh, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Uh, there, go. Okay, so he turns translucent, and then you have to suck him in. Don't clip that. Different version of having a wing as a face wrap. Uh, I, I think so? I mean, it does kind of look like the cowl is part of his wings, so you might, maybe, maybe you just thought that at the time. Because they do kind of like blend together a little bit. These portals are your conduit between the spectral and material realms. With their aid, you may gather matter and will yourself to become manifest in the physical world. This is taxing, however. Your strength must first be fully restored. You require no conduit to return to this plane. You may abandon your physical body at any time. So check that out. We're not really here. All of this, all of this, 
This is like effectively the astral plane, the ethereal plane. The spectral plane, if you will. This is this is a, a shadow of the real world. None of this is actually physical. We're just a ghost. We're just hanging out in the spirit world. But these little glowing blue things. Watch what happens to the surrounding, to the scenery, when we transition to the real physical world. See that? Sustain your strength to prolong your manifestation in the physical world. If you fail to feed or absorb too many wounds, this fragile matter will dissolve. Do you guys see that? The terrain straightened out and, and deformed. Well, it's sort of undeformed. Also, that door, that wall that we came from, that wall wasn't there before. That wall only exists in the spectral plane. It's the gate to the underworld. So, another thing I want to know, check out the sky. It's gray. Technical limitation of the time, right? PlayStation asset limits, loading distances, yes. But also, when Cain conquered Nosgoth, his empire built giant smokestacks to to block out the sun with 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 soot and ash, so that vampires could walk around during the day unharmed. Fucking metal, huh? You are young yet, Raziel. You still retain many of your vampiric weaknesses. Immersion in water, while not fatal, will dissolve your physical body, forcing your return to the spirit world. Be aware that in the spectral realm, water has neither heft nor lift. It stands as thin as air. You guys want to see what happens when you try and jump in the water? Oh, look at that. Everything gets green and spooky and deforms, and we're back in the spirit world. Because the physical body dissolved. So now we're just a ghost again. Luckily, lunch is right here. Door over here. Oh, let's just open the door. Your efforts are futile, Raziel. Such objects are but shadows in the spirit world. So right there, we just discovered two things. You can't go travel through water in the physical world. You can't manipulate objects in the spirit world. See, see what we're doing? We're establishing the rules of the puzzle engine. That's going to be important. Those are both going to be important elements of puzzles later. Right? We're, we're kind of we're learning the game's language. So here we are back here. See how these these columns are all twisted and warped, and kind of curved inward when they weren't before? Player training, exactly. It's a tutorial. It's an early tutorial. Tutorials weren't really a thing in 1999. Like, they kind of were, but lots of games didn't do them like Soul Reaver did. See, look at that. That transition is all done in real time by the render, by the, the, uh, the game engine. That's not, like, pre-rendered. Which at the time was very impressive. Also, another thing you'll notice, this game doesn't have loading times. It has one loading sequence at the very start, and everything else is streamed in real time. Also, for 1999, very impressive. This, this is a 25-year-old game, guys. What are these creatures? Whoa. Do you not recognize them? They are the children of your brother, Duma. That's impossible. These foul, scuttling beasts could not be kin of our high blood? Do you suppose that time stood still for you, Raziel? Much has changed since you passed from the world of men. So he's been dead for quite a while. <laughs> Long enough that vampires look like those now. Holy shit, okay. How long has he been gone, exactly? Let's cross the little trench there. I knew my opponent's weaknesses, having suffered them myself. Physical wounds are fleeting. Vampire's immortal flesh begins to close as soon as it is cleaved. Vampires need only fear those wounds that impale or inflame. 
Water scorches like acid, and fledglings are devastated by sunlight's touch. I would have to modify my tactics to suit my foes. Okay, so the trick with fighting these guys is you can beat them up. I expect that longer than a week, my friend. You can beat them up, but just punching them doesn't kill them. Right? They just get stunned. You can whack them, but eventually they'll recover. They'll, they'll, they'll start moving again because they'll heal. So, what you gotta do is you have to find a way to kill them permanently while they're stuck. Like, for instance, a rare beam of sunlight here. Come on, throw. Unfettered from the flesh, a creature's soul fades swiftly into the spectral realm. Draw it in quickly, Raziel, or you will be compelled to follow. Sunlight kills him, because vampires. And look, eat the soul, body dissolves. Oh, that idiot just stepped into the sunlight, alright. I, I was gonna throw him on that spike over there, that red pointy spike, but okay. I guess he could just do that. I, I guess he chose death. I guess he woke up and chose death. <laughs> Alright, uh, dead human there. So there are still humans around. Ugh. Look at that. How do we get up there? Too high to jump. We need something to stand on. Uh, who here has played the original uh, Tomb Raider games? How do you feel about block puzzles? Hope you like block puzzles. Your physical prowess surpasses what you knew in life. Even massive obstacles can be moved effortlessly. I remember, if you line it up exactly with the body, not quite. Yeah, my childhood too, Cass. I was just I was just saying to chat here, literally this was the first PlayStation game I ever bought. <laughs> You're game by Aaron, yeah. Tony J has actually featured in another game that I streamed here on this channel, and that was Planescape Torment. Man did a lot of stuff. The Sanctuary of the Clans, reduced to ruin. Beyond these walls lay the Pillars of Nosgoth, the seat of Cain's empire. How humble it now appeared, collapsing into the dust of its former magnificence. And yet, I had only just emerged. In the instant between my execution and resurrection, centuries had apparently passed. This world is wrecked with cataclysms. The Earth strains to shrug off the pestilence of Cain's parasitic empire. The fate of this world was preordained in an instant by a solitary man. Unwilling to martyr himself to restore Nosgoth's balance, Cain condemned the world to the decay you see. In that moment, the unraveling began. Now it is nearly played out. Nosgoth teeters on the brink of collapse. Its fragile balance cannot hold. Elder God Tony J there referring to the bad ending of Blood Omen, where Cain rejects humanity, refuses to sacrifice himself, and uh, dooms Nosgoth to death and decay. So, uh... Yeah, poor old world's dying. World's dying. It's almost dead. We've come back to uh, the, the corpse of a world. The doors of the sanctuary were immovable, either barred from the inside or rusted shut. I would need to find another means of entry. It's uh, it's a very slow apocalypse, but it's here. Also, check this out. Uh, what's another way to kill vampires? Pointy objects. Check this out. Ready for this? Stake through the heart. Now, watch what happens when we pick it up again. Oh, he's back!
throw him onto this fire and he would like burn but yeah let's pick that up violent miscreant yes Ooh, sneak I want to sneak and like a weird bridge thing here somewhere So do you hear the background music? It's the same like rhythm and cadence as the underworld theme, but it's not as haunting and distorted. You hear that? Now, like it's got that same. It doesn't have that like thundering bass, but it's similar. There's the weird bridge. Unfortunately, that's just there for decoration. It doesn't actually do anything. For the longest time, I thought that was a secret area. It's not. Oh, hello. Got you. Noted in pale, same concept. Yeah, you're not wrong. Alright, remember how I said those warp gates were like the save points? Well, here's a warp gate. First one. As my agent, 
You are beyond death, Raziel. Your enemies cannot destroy you. If you grow too weak, however, you will always be drawn here to recover. You can't die. You're unkillable. I had this memory of explaining to, to, to a classmate of mine um, at school when I was a kid. Explaining that the protagonist of this game, this game that I bought, the protagonist was immortal, can't die. And this classmate kind of looking puzzled and going, well, what's, what's the point of the game then? Well, what's the challenge if you can't die? And I, at the time, I didn't really explain the fundamental misunderstanding there, but... <laughs> in, in retrospect, that was really funny. <laughs> You know, of course, the only challenge would be if you could die, right? What's what, what other kind of challenge is there? All right, motherfucker. All right, no more fucking around. It's Dark Souls strategy time. Get a bait you to attack. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me the old combo and stick to the right. very practiced with this game. I played this a lot when I was a kid. So much. You used to be able to recite the entire script from memory. Holy Christ. What do we got here? Does this look familiar? You guys remember this? The lower poly count? This, at least, had remained constant. The endlessly swirling vortex of the abyss. My tomb and the womb of my rebirth. Though much of Noskoth's landscape had changed, these cliffs gave me my bearings. My clan territory was to the west. I was anxious to see how my descendants had fared during the centuries of my absence. So the game is pushing us hard to go in this direction, but right now, there's nothing stopping us from just going around here and exploring these, these, these cliffs. Yeah, it is Tony J. Tony J is the Elder God. Raziel here is Michael Bell, um, better known for his work as the voice of Starscream. And uh, Kane, who we haven't really had much interaction with yet, is uh, Shakespearean actor Simon Templeman, who is also uh, Loghain in Dragon Age. So there's nothing actually stopping us from going back here exploring, other than the fact that, like, you know, the water will kill us. But this is shallow. Hey, look at that. We're slowly draining hell. Let's not, let's not do that. That's a bad idea. Why, why did we do this? Oh god. Oh god, why did we do this? Oh god. Okay. Let's come back here later. For now, let's go to the west. That's not the real home screen. That's birds. Um, which sometimes you can see, but not right now. Okay, so another weapon type. Torch. Praise oh. Zor! Torch burned out. We find a fire, we can relight it, but I don't think there's a fire nearby. Also, this is a this is a remix of the main theme, you hear it? The main theme is a fucking banger. Yeah, he stands up really hard. 
a wood, it's a wooden stake, right? Right? Secrets here? of legacy of Cain was Cain fighting hard to make the worst possible choices believing he was healthy. Yes. Well, that, yeah, like, he, he started off thinking he was doing the right thing, and then he kind of got pushed into a shitty situation where he had to make the best of two awful choices. And, um... Well, we'll get it, into it later, but, uh... He... One choice seemed better than the other, but it will become apparent later that maybe he actually didn't make the wrong choice at all. Maybe he made the right choice. Utter desolation. My once proud kin wiped from this world like excrement from a boot. I knew the hand that wrought this deed. That maybe there's a little more to that choice that he had and was given than, uh, the consequences of my action. Not so much the consequence of my actions, Holy Snake, but, um... Well, what's the line? Suppose you flip a coin enough times. Suppose one day, it lands on its edge. healing you. No, it just heals you. The thing is, whenever you're physical like this, uh, your your health is always slowly ticking down. It's a good thing souls don't require chewing. Yeah, it'd be hard to chew when you're missing a lower jaw. You know, and a stomach. Like, like, look at him. Dude needs to eat more. All I'm saying. Well, I guess we don't eat for, you know, 600 years. Or however long it was. Eat some milk. Dude needs a hamburger. <laughs> you guys can see what water does we have here. Hello, Mr. Little, little Vampire. You want to go for a swim? Would you like to go for a swim? You would? Oh, he can't swim. Oh, my, my mistake. Oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. Guess you should have worn a life jacket. It wouldn't have helped. Oh god, another one. Ah. So <laughs> God damn it. Okay, now. This is no longer useful. Is there another weapon around here I can use? G give, give, me the, give me the soul. Give me the soul. Got 
but still. Okay, fine. Do it the hard way. the items or which absorb what absorb all the items so that's a cheap trick god damn it anyway whoever has the rights now they can square this without a survey to just kind of test the waters and see if they if if there would be a market for a legacy of cave remaster it's not too long ago that happened so they're they're thinking about it This you might ask, well, we'll just have to come back here at the end of the game and find out. Yeah, this game could use a good remaster. This game actually, um, it, it kind of went through like some troubled development and a lot of stuff got cut. The game was supposed to have a very different ending originally. There are little fragments of it still. You can see. I'll point them out when we come across them. But there are little, little pieces no, please. that hint at the the original ending. I didn't recognize these flayed racks of flesh. Their scent was vampiric. They gnawed upon their victim's carcass like dogs. New kind of vampire. There's the staff. So, yeah, they're, they're more like zombies than vampires, aren't they? They look like shambling corpses. Slow death world full of fading monsters. Yeah. Kind of grim, isn't it? Hey, what's up? Uh, have you seen me? You have not seen. You, you have seen me. Yeah, you see me. Now, these guys have a little bit of I can knock him into the fire. Into the fire we go. E5. Praise Zor. There we go. Can I push you into the fire? have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'll just drop you on the fire. Oh. Humanity's gone now. No, humans are still around. In fact, uh, there's one right there. The few humans that are still around are kind of secluded in walled enclaves. Just kind of waiting for the end. In fact, we'll go visit one later. What's that? I wonder. Oh, hello. So that... That's... That guy's got a crossbow and plate armor. That's not a vampire, that's a human. And we're just gonna leave him alone. Uh, you'll see why later. This charnel house bore the unmistakable marks of Melchiah's clan. 
To what depths had our dynasty plummeted if these ghouls were the descendants of my high-born brother? Were they so debased as to recruit fledglings from the desiccated corpses here interred? This guy's just chowing down. Look at him. Oh, he heard me. Hey, what's up? Spear. And, oh. Oh, yeah, so they can do a little trick there. They can burn. Oh. Man, it hurts you talking shit. Yeah. Enjoying his lunch. Yeah. Leave him alone. Lovely. Have the same on a lunch break. <laughs> My brother Melchiah was made last, and therefore received the poorest portion of Cain's gift. Although immortal, his soul could not sustain the flesh which retained much of its previous human frailty. This weakness, it seemed, was passed on to his offspring. Their fragile skins barely contained the underlying decay. Ugh. In, um, in the little lore book that comes with this game, it talks about how because Melchiah's body was always like slowly rotting, he would skin his victims and then wear their skins. And if you look closely, it kind of looks like these guys are doing the same thing. Like, look how its skin is like a patchwork. That was a hell of a throw. That's uh, a little bit of a glitch there. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> do, do we throw it the, the closest spike that's pointing the right way? No, we throw it the one back there that's pointing the wrong way. <laughs> also check out the uh, carving here of Valkaya. Look at his cloven feet. So Kane, the vampire in the first game, he didn't look like that, he didn't have claws or the cloven feet or the, the green like scaly skin. He just looked like a pale dude. Evidently, he changed a bit as he got older. If any of you have played the first game, you might remember the vampire Borador, the guy who lived in the swamps, who had green skin and big fucking bat ears. He was old as fuck. So yeah, the suggestion there is that that's just what happens to vampires when they get really old. They, they, they start to look less human, and more like something else. Yeah, come at me, bro. Yeah, you can't, because I'm standing in the sunlight. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, yeah, you gonna... No? Yeah, you good? You good? You good? It was it because of the events of the first game? What do you mean, Cass? What, you mean like the physical changes? Maybe. But then why did Porter look the way he did, right? Yeah, there's some kind of, like the least thing says, there's some kind of metamorphosis that happens. They, they gain new vampire powers and start to look less and less human. would look like. What are they evolving towards? Makes you think, huh? What do you think the other lieutenants look like now if, if their children look like that? Yeah, Raziel was the only one to get wings. For some reason. Raziel was also the oldest. He was the first that was made. Interesting, huh? Latin's cube. 
Was he jealous though? Oh, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Okay, um, that's an interesting motif on that, that sarcophagus. It kind of looks like a certain iconic sword, doesn't it? What that means. spirits fettered too long in the spectral realm uh, when their vampire natures adapt to this plane they become eaters of souls do not allow these spirits to re-inhabit their corpses oh uh, That's a different one. I stand corrected. Maybe it respawns. Stop the beast. I'm not repeating that. I made that mistake once already. Okay, so block. Big old block shaped socket. Pretty obvious we do here, right? same time as Tomb Raider. And didn't Crystal Dynamics also work on that game? Yeah, I'm misremembering. Chest Force Gemini. Oh. Oh, that... That sounds familiar. I should know what that is. Like, the name is familiar, but I'm not... I can't picture anything. Okay, so, we got a bridge over there, can't quite get to it, but we got these two little platforms here that we can stand on, okay. So how about that? I'm gonna do that and see what happens. Oh, kicks one of them up. Okay, so how do we get back? Well, there's these sockets in the wall. There's a gate. Oh yeah, that's that same gate. Okay, so block goes in socket. Texture glitch there. Charming. Block goes in socket. Gate opens. Okay, so we gotta get. But well, we can't use the ledges because they're they're not quite the right height. So we gotta push it into the pit. Okay. Shit, I gotta wait. 
pick that guy up. No. No, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight the Wraith in the spirit world first. So that I can use that staff. Without waking up the Wraith. Come on. Good, okay. Because if we were to pull that staff out, then his, his soul would go back into his body and he'd be a super-powered vampire. And we cannot allow that to happen. Okay, now... That's not a good idea. But now I actually have a weapon I can use to kill that other guy. Listen. Outside, because there's a, there's a part that only plays when you're in the outside zones. I want to draw attention to it. There. Hear that? That rattling noise. Hear that rattling? Like bones. That's so cool. I love that. Skellington, yeah! Like somebody's playing the skeleton ribs like, like a xylophone. Can I wait for it. What else showed up? What do you mean? Do you mean that guy? Don't worry about him, he's fine. He's just chilling. This is his house. Let's leave him alone. So, anyway, this is how the music changes when we switch to fireness. Dynamic music. There it is. <laughs> See, now it's a little bit more muffled. It doesn't quite have the, 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 the reverb to it. Yeah, isn't that cool? I really like the dynamic music, and I listen as we switch, as we shift planes. Same cadence, same melody. But it's key shifted. And the bass line's different. Isn't that cool? Lots of 
here, so hey, it's King's Row. King's Row is a is a well schooled in in the uh, knowledge of music theory and such. So I'm sure she can tell you more about it. But all the little differences. So check this out, right? Oh shit, I fucked it up. Okay, back we go. Well, okay, I'll just give it away. We jumped on that one. And that one's higher. So if we were to jump on that one, they'd switch again, right? But... What is it that we cannot do when we're in ghost mode? What is it you can't do from the spectral plane? You can't manipulate physical objects. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on the high one and the ghost in the spectral plane and it's not gonna go anywhere. Check it out. Ah? See? What was I saying earlier about puzzle language? Cool, huh? The, the puzzles are only going to leverage those mechanics more and more as we go. Er, I need a soul. I need something. Come on. I'm not going to sit here waiting to passively regenerate. Okay, I guess I am. If I'm not. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just drop down. Y'all see you don't take falling damage. Okay, they're full. Now we'll just go back that way. See, there's usually souls around a, a, a plane portal, but there's not always. So you sometimes have to go looking. Yeah, you won't always be guaranteed to have one nearby. I'm high jumping mostly out of habit because I don't. There's no real clear indication of which jumps require a high jump and which ones don't. Okay, so. Another gate. Another couple of sockets. Another stack of blocks. Now, this one is not just to put blocks in the socket puzzle. This one, we have to match the shapes. Simple enough, right? Well, it'll get harder later. Secret, we're, lear we're learning puzzle language. The game is teaching us things. Things which we'll have to use later. Things which we will later have to show mastery of in order to progress. It's good game design. Who's good at, like, visualizing 3D shapes? Because I could just fuck this around until it's pointing the right way, but if I do it just right, I, I like to try and flip and reorient these with the smallest number of flips possible, and I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. Only adult root cages for xylophones. Okay, good to know. Fresh outdoor air. What do you guys think is in the bottom of that lake? What does that get us? Well, there's another block there. And there's a ledge there. So what we gotta do... Is we gotta take this block... Also, let me show you something. While we're here, let me show you guys something. Uh, 
Look at that. There's something up there. How the hell do you get up there? I don't know. What can we see? Well, there's ruins down there. It ain't just a lake. Like, this is a structure of some kind, or at least it was a structure at one point. Like, there's worn stone down there. I guess I'll check it out later. Oh god. <laughs> oh, almost fell in. Oh god. God damn it. Okay, there. Forward. I'm turning because I'm just it's doing that by itself. I always thought that was neat. Okay, uh, hello. Oh, just in time. Oh god, where'd he go? Ah. Just in time for lunch. Bonk. Nope, no, I didn't want to throw you. I wanted to throw you in the water. There we go. Okay. I'd be able to get his soul from here. The trick with water is sometimes because of the way the ledges are laid out, you can't. And it seems like I actually can't. Oh. Get ladder. Come on. Come on. No, oh, okay. Oh, look at that. There's a weird gate down there. Oh, look at that is. this with me because I think it's going to come in handy. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, hello. Mine. His buddy back there doesn't even care. He's munching on something. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, 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 stab. symbol on it again. If you go if in that lore booklet, that symbol, that is the symbol of Malchiah's clan. That's their, their sigil, their emblem. I wonder if he's nearby. Now as for you, 
I saw a torch back here. Yeah, there it is. fighting happening with the textures there. Savior, yeah. What's a little soul devouring between divine saviors? We'll just. We're just gonna let that vampire have a nap. We're not gonna wake him up. If you, uh, if you kill that first. That first human, then all humans for the rest of the game will treat you as hostile. But if you don't, then they'll do that. They'll be friendly. They won't, won't attack you. Alright, let's, uh, flip it a switch. recesses in it. These weird track patterns. But that one's different. That one has a symbol. Hey, Mo. Welcome. Oh, it goes in a little cave. Where does the cave go? The cave goes around and down. And spits us out. Down here. That's the platform above us. We're underneath it now. It's sitting on those wooden posts. What's over here? It's through here. Oh, a locked door. The fog is red down here. I wonder what that means. We'll come back to it. So, wooden post holding up the platform. Fire. Well, you guys feel like praising Zorg? Of course you do. He doesn't feel like praising Zorg. Look at those advanced fire graphics. Cutting edge. 
next gen. State of the art. The highest quality pixels. <laughs> There, the elements. Oh, clever. There's a lot of. There's a lot of stuff like that in this game, Cast says, that, that you've, you're probably aware of. I think you said you played it before. Maybe I'm mixing it up with somebody else. So, yeah. Block puzzles in new and interesting ways. Much of this game is how can we do a block puzzle in a way that's different from all the other block puzzles. And this is it's kind of clever. Drag these out of these tracks in the platform, because not the whole platform didn't drop in, just the middle bit. Now, put them in the corners here, in the center bit. See, there's the rest of the platform. So now we put them in the corners. See what happens. The sword rises. To, no, the fire rises. No, sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. The fire rises to the top. There you go. Mixing memes. I cross the memes. Oh. All right. So we got we got layers. Yeah, well, that's the wrong way. Okay, so let's just embed this in a wall, because we're not going to need that where we're going. Oh, gate's open. changed. I want you guys to look real close here at the textures. You'll see what I mean. Show yourself, creature! Do you not recognize me, brother? Am I so changed? Melkaya? Yes, brother. You should have stayed where the master sent you, Raziel. You will find Nosgoth less pleasant than you remember. What has become of my clan? Answer me, little brother, or I will beat an answer from your horrid lips. Everyone is afraid, sibling. You awake to a world of fear. These times of change are so... unsettling. Do you think I feel no revulsion for this form? 
Do you believe for a moment that our Lord would risk his empire upon an upstart inheritance? Enough riddles. What are you saying? You are the last to die. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a screen grab. Okay, hold on, get a little closer. All right, so do you remember the lore about Melchiah, right? His body was always rotting, so he wore the skins of his victims. Look very closely at, his, at the texture of the the, the the model texture here. Look at his hands. That's a face. Those aren't fingers, those are arms. Look at his shoulder. That's another face. He's stitched together like a flesh golem. Look, fuck, oh, oh, look at him, look at that. Look at him do the little crawl there on the, f Jesus Christ. Okay, so, Melchiah is a big guy, and not just for you. You can whack him, but he just laughs. You can't hurt him. He's too tough. Oh, God. That spider crawl, holy shit, I never saw that animation before. He can smack him, he doesn't care. You can't hurt him. And, watch this. Try and hide from him here, right? Oh, you can't get me, you can't get me. What you gonna do now, motherfucker? What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, huh? 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 Can't get me in here. Can't touch this. Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing? What? Oh god. Oh god. He can phase through solid objects. Well, semi-solid objects. He can just, like, he can just do that. He can just partly shift himself spectral and just walk through gates and stuff. Okay, so. Look at this. There's a switch in there. The switch opens the gate. What's the gate? Big, iron, and spiky. How do you kill vampires, guys? How do you harm a vampire? What kind of wounds are harmful to vampires? Impaling wounds. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, he did not like that. He did not like that. The stakes are high, yeah! Alright, come on, come on, let's do it again, let's do it again. Let's do it again, motherfucker. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's waiting for me to go in. Oh. Okay. Crap. Come on. He got the point. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I turned vibration on. Yeah. Because now, with vibration on. I can feel his footsteps now. Every time he takes a, he takes a step, the controller vibrates. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh shit! I fucked it up. All right, we got we got to abort. We got to abort. We got to try again. There's only one more. That's the only other one. <laughs> come on, come on, come on out, come on out. Your creepy spider crawl thing. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Around the other side. Come on. Around the other side. Around the other side. Around the other side. I've seriously never seen that animation before. That's like, I did not know that was a thing. That waked me the fuck out just now. 25 years and I'm still getting waked up by this game. No, yeah, yeah, jazz hands. That's what he was doing. Jesus Christ. Alright, come on. center of this little thing here. It's a big meat grinder. Come on, little brother. Come on in. Come on and play. Come on in. Ah. Alright, now. Yeah, come and get me. Come and get me. Come and get me. He can't. He can't do it anymore. He can't do the phase thing anymore. He's too weak now. He's too weak to phase through. He's stuck. Got him. 
And if you were squeamish, you might want to look away. Tell me, Melkaia, where can I find Cain? The master is beyond your reach, Raziel. He makes himself known when he sees fit, not when commanded. Last chance to look away. to this. A ghoul. A fratricide. Elevated, Raziel. Not reduced. Consuming Melchiah's soul has endowed you with a new gift. Insubstantial barriers such as these are no impediment to you in the spectral realm. Will yourself to pass through, and you shall. Ah, new trick. We now have the phase through walls trick. Watch this. Like it's not even there. Now see, Kane can do mist form and fit and walk through gates like that. This is what Raziel has to do. No mist form for me. the opportunity. Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. Uh, there's the box. There's a portal. These gates can't phase you anymore. Nice. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, I'm just gonna run past. Just gonna run past. No more gated content for me. <laughs> Return. To the sanctuary of the clans, Raziel. Melchiah's soul has endowed you with the means to gain entry. Beware, however. This hollow derelict is abandoned, but not uninhabited. That boss fight was a real grind. Oh, you guys. Okay, so, do you remember that gate out of the lake there? You guys want to see what's under the lake now? Just gonna jump in. These motherfuckers, that's what's under the lake. Oh my god. Just wanna eat in peace. Okay. So here we are at the bottom of the lake, and oh, there's a little, little gate. Cut down to the meat of it. <laughs> oh, what's this? What do we have here? a face. There's a symbol. There's three pillars. And if you look, the three pillars ought to make that symbol there. See that? So, maybe we push them over.
glyphs empower you with elemental lore. Each spell exacts a sacrifice of energy, however. Use them sparingly and wisely. So we just learned a spell. Watch this. Cool, huh? I'll come handy later. Some more stuff to find at the bottom of the lake here. Like this. What is that? It's a shiny. It's a collectible. You guys like collectibles? These artifacts enhance your stamina, enabling you to prolong your material manifestation. Gather five to complete the emblem and thereby augment your strength. It's a spiral. Green pizza. Yeah, they're actually kind of yellowish, but yeah. Okay. Enough of you. There is... Here we go. This passage goes back to spiral power. <laughs> this goes back to the main... The main lake in that first area. Remember? The pillars? Yeah, with the warp pillars. I said there were the ruins. What's back here? Oh, these have changed. We'll have to come back later. And we're not going to teleport back. We're going to backtrack normally. Because actually, no, we're not going to backtrack normally because the bits that I remember. There we go. Okay, we're going to get some collectibles over if we're on the way back. Let's see, one, two, three, I think. I think there's three. Uh, soul? Can I, have, can I have a soul, please? Any souls for me? Soul? Here's soul. Fine. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Shifty back. There's one that I remember was in Raziel's Fortress. screen here. Whenever you walk into this gate room and turn on that gate, what the game does is it loads every other gate room into memory, so you can just walk seamlessly into them, and then it uses the hallway to disguise the, lo disguise the loading in the next section. Is that clever? I think it's clever. That's yeah, really clever. There's one.
Yeah, it's the T-pose. He just T-poses it through, through the wall. <laughs> I never noticed that, yeah. Okay, I gotta find... I gotta find lunch first. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta fight you, do I? just faster because these two gates are actually not that far apart so it's honestly just faster to do this to go this way yeah he's always hungry God said, return to the sanctuary of the clans. Well, that's this right here. And we now have a means to gain entry. So, we are looking for a, a, a portcullis or something that we can just... Ah, there we go. Portcullis. That we can just phase through. This game was kind of innovative, wasn't it? It, it did a lot of clever things. God damn it. Okay, shift. And the gate slam shut. Do you remember how I said that spell that we just got would be very useful? Here it becomes... Now that's that's optional content, and right here it becomes extremely useful. Let me show you why. In retrospect, probably pretty stupid for the vampire of, like, capital city to have these big pools of water. Like, I don't know why these are here, but okay, I'm not going to complain. that guy miss by just dropping back to Spectral. 
because we don't actually care about him. We're just gonna go right on through. I think the, the vaguely Arabic architecture is kind of interesting. Like, look at the, the doorways. Oh, music changed. Music changed. That's different music. What could it mean? You guys ready? Everybody ready? Raziel. The abyss has been unkind. A superb example of this game's writing. I am your creation, Cain. Now, as before, you criticize your own work. What have you done with my clan, degenerate? You have no right. What I have made, I can also destroy, child. Damn you, Cain! You are not God! This act of genocide is unconscionable! Conscience? You dare to speak to me of conscience? Only when you have felt the full gravity of choice should you dare question my judgment. Your life span is a flicker compared to the mass of doubt and regret that I have borne since Mortanius first turned me from the light. To know that the fate of the world hangs dependent on the advisedness of my every deed can you even begin to conceive what action you would take in my position? I would choose integrity, King. <laughs> Look around you, Raziel. See what has become of our empire. Witness the end of an age. The clans scattered to the corners of Nosgoth. This place has outlasted its usefulness. As have you. The Soul Reaver. Cain's ancient blade. Older than any of us and a thousand times more deadly. The legends claimed that the blade was possessed and thrived by devouring the souls of its victims. For all our bravado, we knew what it meant when Cain drew the Soul Reaver in anger. It meant you were dead. Right, so he's gonna teleport around to one of three spots. He's gonna charge up a little zappy zap. And I gotta, I gotta hit him before he gets it off. He's gonna do that three times. And if he hits me, he knocks me straight back to Spectral. Got him. And... Oh, guessed right. Okay, yes. Perfect. There we go. But it's not over yet. Oh. Whoa. The blade is vanquished. So it unfolds. And we are a step closer to our destiny. What did he mean by this? <laughs> I swore I saw a glint of satisfaction in Cain's eye when the Soul Reaver was destroyed. I did not understand the game that Cain was playing, but I knew the finishing move. 
So when the Blood Oath, the Soul Reaver was the very last weapon From you From this get. moment and ever afterward, you and this blade are inextricably bound. Soul Reaver and Reaver of Souls, your destinies are intertwined. By destroying the sword, you have liberated it from its corporeal prison and restored it to its true form, a wraith blade, its energy unbound. No longer a physical blade, it can only manifest itself in the material realm when your strength is fully restored. Once manifest, it will sustain you. What are you, little soul? Another of Cain's creatures come to taunt this bound specter. I did not intend to disturb your rest. Rest. A body is needed for sleep. Flesh and bones are required to recline. No, child. All I may do is watch and remember, ceaselessly conscious as this wretched world's history unfurls. Ghastly past, insufferable future, are they one and the same? Am I always here? How have you come to haunt these pillars? Cain refused the sacrifice. The Pillar of Balance, corrupted to its core, stands as a monument to his blind ambition. Now these pillars serve only to bind me here my prison and eternal home, thanks to the avarice of your master, Cain. That bastard can claim no allegiance from me. Then we share a common foe, Raziel. Return here when you have need. Ariel remembers what others have forgotten. So in the first game, um, Ariel served the function of the Elder God serves in this game of being the, the quest giver. The, so you go back to to get to get pointed in the next in the direction of the next major area, right? Ariel um, knew what was going on and knew like the whole murder the circle to purify the pillars plan. She neglected to tell Cain that he was the last guardian and left that to the very end. Cain didn't like that, so Cain just kind of left her here forever as revenge. For screwing with him. Yeah. Far in the eastern mountains, a stifled titan stands in mute surrender, unwilling host to a parasitic swarm. Yeah, she she did when she was when she told Cain, look, you gotta go kill all the guardians so that you can you can save Nosgoth, she forgot to mention, by the way, you're the last balance guardian, so you're gonna have to kill yourself to save Nosgoth. She left that until everybody else was dead. Till he was already committed. Do you blame him? Check this door out. It's got the reaver on it. To my recollection, there are four doors in the entire game that have that do that. Yes, four doors for more ores. So yeah, we got a lightsaber now. Check it out. But we only have it when you're at full health. But there's a little cool thing we can do now. Um. Do you remember that? Do you remember that sarcophagus that had the motif of the Reaver on it? Let's go poke it. Let's go see what it does. So let's hit these guys. So you always have the Soul Reaver when you're in the Spectral Plane. Always, no matter how much health you've got. And it kicks ass with this thing. It just slaps. But you only have it in the material plane when you're at full health. But as long as you have it, you don't drain health from, from just passively. Which is cool.
Your brother Zephon's keep lies far to the east, beyond the ruins that greeted your first exit from the underworld. He and his brood have cocooned themselves in a derelict cathedral, having murdered its human guardians. You know what? Actually, let's go there first because we can we can hit the first uh, the first gateway, and then we can just walk through our way to, back to back to Nikaya's territory and get the thing. So we'll just we'll just go to that quick. I remember a game called Road. I don't not remember a game called Road. Sorry. Doesn't ring a bell. Kane was supposed to be the next guardian balance, but he was corrupted. Uh, yeah. No, no. Kane was the next balance guardian. At the moment that Ariel died, he was born and immediately became the balance guardian. The guardians are chosen from birth. Kane was the guardian of balance. He wasn't next in line. He, he, he was the, the guardian of balance. He just didn't know it. Because Ariel kept it from him because she knew that he would have to sacrifice himself to purify the pillars. But, I don't know, I guess she had doubts that he would want to go through with it. Which kind of, kind of says a lot, doesn't it? Anyway. Hey look, it's a gate. We know what to do with these. So yeah, remember that gate beyond those ruins when we first came out? Yeah, there we go. Now we're past it. What we got here? What is this? Ooh, howling wind. New symbol. Towering fortress. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh, Soul Reaver door. Oh, and lovely music. That music's not unnerving at all. Listen to that. That's not unsettling, is it? Not at all. Yeah, time is an illusion. Lunchtime doubly so. Hey, more humans. Hey, buddies. What's going on? What's going on, fellas? How y'all doing? See what the Soul Reaver does to a vampire? Watch this. What's up, motherfucker? Okay. Two hits. Two hits stuns them. Finishing move. Just gone. Just fucking gone. Oh. 
If I get hit once, though, I lose the reaver. <laughs> so I gotta not get hit. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Now that's dealt with. Sarcophagus with the Reaver on it. What does this do? Ooh. It's a secret passage. What is this? energy capacity is increased. More magic. You only can... All right, two to six, not bad. All right. So, I think that's a pretty good start, don't you guys think? Maybe we can call it an evening there. saved all right so yeah there we go soul reaver first uh first two bosses hope you all found that entertaining i i missed this game i didn't realize it i really enjoy this game it's 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 very good it does a lot of really cool things happy to share it with you guys thanks for hanging out hope you all have a good night and uh i will see you all next tuesday good night everybody